1970 Chevy Nova, powered by its original numbers matching 350 four barrel V8 engine. It's got a chrome or polished aluminum intake, chrome valve covers. It's got a nice set of headers on it. Alternator looks new as well. Very nice engine compartment. Like I said earlier, the VIN number on the block matches the VIN on the car. I can't prove that this is an original SS Nova, so I'm selling it as a 70 Nova with the SS equipment on it. nice even gap from front to back on the driver's side. Passenger side's the same way. Really nice gap. Across the passenger side it fits really nice and flush on the fender. Driver's side fits nice except for at the very back. Um, it sticks up just a little bit by that hood hinge. Probably needs to be adjusted a little there. The front bumper is in really nice shape. The chrome shines well. Um, grill looks nice. It's got the SS emblem in the grill. Grill's all blacked out on it. The eyebrow trim and the hood trim is not new. Um, very presentable, but it does have a couple little dings and stuff in it. Not nothing major for a driver. I wouldn't change it, but it'd also be something very easily to change if you want to upgrade it. When we got this uh, 70 Nova in. Um, I ordered brand new wheel well trim. We got that installed. I did new scuff plates on it. Uh, we took it to a body shop and had that black paint all wet sanded and buffed. It's got a super nice shine on it and a very nice straight body. If you look up and down the sides, black shows everything um, and very straight on this passenger side. It's got the seven inch rally wheels. Tires are good all the way around. They're matching with a matching spare. Previous owner must have put the new 350 emblems on it and the new marker lights because they're in great shape. It also has new door handles on it. Uh, the chrome on the door handles is beautiful. The paint on the hood's really nice. The paint on the passenger side front fender is in great shape. Um, the only thing that uh, when we wet sand and buffed it, we didn't wet sand and buff the, the bottom two inches of the car, so like the rocker panel and stuff. Still has a little orange peel on it, um, but the rest of the uh, Car's all been wet sand and buffed and got rid of all the orange peel. Uh, no blisters on the door, no blisters on the lower fender or rockers, very solid. Uh, lower quarter is excellent, no blisters there behind the wheel or over the wheel on the passenger side. The roof's nice and straight, I don't see any dings anywhere on the roof. Trunk lid's nice, no previous hail, nothing like that. Like I said, the body is really straight. Uh, back bumper is excellent, just like the front bumper. They're both very nice. It's got nice dual exhaust. If you look at the undercarriage pictures, you'll see just how nice the undercarriage looks. Um, and also the bottom of the engine and exhaust all looks nice as well. It's got uh, older trim around the tail lights. That's not new, so that's, that's scuffed up a little bit. And then this piece along the top of the SS has got some pits in it as well. So there again, I'd classify this as a beautiful uh, driver condition Nova that you can go to any local car show, but it's not a show car restoration. It's got a little older uh, trim and stuff on it in spots. As we move along to the interior, like I mentioned before, the door handles on both sides are brand new. Chrome's perfect on them. As we open the doors, the rubber is nice and soft. Uh, passenger side door panel, armrest, and base are all in great shape. I don't see any blemishes there on the door panel at all. Um, as we go to the corner of the door here, you can see its original uh, body seam line. That looks nice and solid. It is missing a couple of those little door stoppers. I did not, uh, I missed that when they came in. They're not very much money. Um, 
door jams are really decent. The paint on the door jams is not as nice as the paint on the exterior of the car. It's all black, but it just doesn't have the shine that the uh, exterior does. We put the new uh, Body by Fisher sill plates in. As we look at the dash pad, the dash pad's excellent. I don't see any cracks there. The paint on the dash is nice. It's got a couple little scratches there on that black paint. It's got aftermarket gauges on it. It's got the Hearst four-speed shifter. Um, and it does have the SS steering wheel. The sun visors are in great shape. There is a little surface rust around the bases. So if a guy wants to get rid of that, uh, you can get the new ar chrome arms. But the visors themselves are in great shape. The headliner is in excellent shape. I don't see any, uh, any big stains or any tears or seam splits. It's just really nice. It's not wrinkled at all either. Very nice and tight. Dome light works. It does have the shoulder belts. As far as the interior goes, all four door panels are in great shape. It's got a pair of 6x9 Infinities in the back with a nice back shelf. The seats are in excellent shape. They have the, uh, appears to me the original. Um, I think they did make in 1970 a cloth insert with these. They're nice and soft and very pliable. If you look at this seat here, it kind of shows me these could be original. Um, some of the stitchings on the corner here is just needs to be re-sewed up. Other than that, the uh, driver's side seat and the passenger seat looks excellent shape with its factory GM seat belt still intact. Door shuts nice. The Nova emblem is new. Trunk lid gap looks real nice. Um, the driver's side paint is just as nice as the passenger side. It's, it, it shines beautifully and it's super straight. There again, the quarter trim piece, the chrome on that's excellent. There is one blister on this whole car. It's the only blister I've seen so far and it's a small blister right there on that quarter panel. Other than that, there's nothing below the behind the wheel. Nothing in front of the rockers, doors, or lower fenders. It's all super solid there. So we have one little blister right there. Other than that, you know, the paint's probably, I'm guessing 10 years old, but it's been wet sand and buffed, and I, I honestly don't even hardly see any chips or scratches to speak of. I could have missed a few, but uh, it's a beautiful shape. See my reflection there, the paint's really deep on it. Uh, driver's side door has a nice gap. Driver's side door is just as nice as the passenger door. It's got a nice even lip. Rubbers are good. Driver's side door panel and armrest is perfect, just like the passenger side. Don't see any imperfections there. Driver's side seat on that seam is in really nice shape there. Uh, no scuffs, tears, anything like that. We did put some new pieces on the emergency brake, so that releases and works well. Um, it's got a very nice super sport steering wheel, factory one. Does not have a factory tack, gas gauge does work. Heater fan works. Um, there's one new cable that I ordered, it just came in, so I got a new cable. Uh, one of these cables, now they're, yeah, the, the de-ice cable is just a little tight, so we're replacing that. Um, also, it's got an aftermarket uh, digital AM FM radio. Um, I haven't had time to check into that to see what's going on there to see if I could get that hooked up and working. I'm going to check on that and also do that heater control. But the heater fan works, wipers work. It's got the Super Sport hood, numbers matching 350. It runs great. Um, it's been idling here for a while, idles at about 2500. Uh, I'm sorry, 25 pounds oil pressure. It's running about 180 for temperature. It's got the Hurst. Oh, here the radio works. Let's see here. Clock's working on the radio, so we definitely have power to it, so I just need to figure out how to use it. There we go.
Radio definitely works. I got to get the speaker hooks up, but the radio definitely works. Okay. Um, does not have a horn, so the horn does not work, and the volt gauge does not work. Oil pressure temp gauge works. So we got two things that aren't working on it. A couple other things I noticed when I drove it out here. I'm gonna roll my window up. Um, I do have to do a little bit of brake work on it. It's got a little pull to the right. So we're gonna check that out when I get it back to the shop. This original 350 engine runs excellent. It's got a lot of power too. Shocks feel good. As far as our steering goes, no hands on the wheel, goes straight down the road, does not need an alignment. Not a lot of play in that steering wheel either. Turn the wheel, tires go right with it. Brake has, has a, the brakes have a really nice pedal. It just has a little pull when you first hit them. So probably a wheel cylinder acting up on us. First, second, third gear. Lets the tires loose, fourth gear, speedometer works great. This Nova drives great. Fantastic sound of Nova. 65, 70 mile an hour, you punch it down. Four barrel kicks right in. Um, don't feel any uh, vibration at all on the rear end. Like I said, the front suspension feels nice. The only thing I gotta do to it when I get it back is check out that horn and uh, also going to adjust those brakes a little bit, but as far as steering goes, this car runs and drives great. 